Let's learn some mathematics. This is the second week of the third term. And this is mathematics for grade 2. This week we're going to practice counting by kicking a ball. You can either kick it with a friend. Doubling is when I take one number. You are allowed to use a cheat in multiplication, especially when it gets to bigger numbers. And we call that a multiplication chart. You will see at the top there's columns with the numbers 1 to 10. This multiplication chart has rows. They've got the numbers 1 to 10 in them. If I look at the columns, and I go to the column with 5 in it. If you go down with that column, you will notice it is counting in 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. If I look at the rows and I go to 5, it's also counting in 5. This way it is going across. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I'm going to show you how to use this chart to do your times table sums. Now, let's look at the following sum. 3 times 5. 3 times 5 means I'm going to have 3 groups of 5. So I am going to count 3 times in 5. 5, 10, 15. Find the 3 and the 5 on the rows and the columns in your multiplication chart. Go down the column and across the row. And where the 2 meet, that will give you your answer. If I go down with the 5 and across with the 3, the 2 meet at 15. So 3 times 5 will give me 15. If I go down with the 3, and across with the 5, they will still meet on 15. So whether I say 3 times 5 or 5 times 3, it doesn't matter. I will get to the same answer of 15. The D in 3D and 2D stands for dimensions. 2D shapes have two dimensions, length and width. So they are flat. 3D shapes have three dimensions, width, length, and depth, and they take up space. Here are some 3D shapes. A cylinder, a cube, which is in the shape of a box, a rectangular prism, which can also be a box shape, a sphere, also called a ball, a pyramid, and a cone. We can sort and compare three-dimensional objects using these criteria. The shape, the color, the size, and whether it rolls or slides. If we look at the ice cream cone, the shape is cone-shaped. The color is a light brown sandy color. The size is bigger than a party hat, about the size of my hand. If we put it upside down with the circular shape on the floor, it will slide. If we put it with the curved sides down, it will roll. You can use some clay and try to build the 3D shapes. Remember to name them as well. You can also find some box and cylinder shapes and try and build something out of it. Be creative. Last week we had a look at o'clock, half past and quarter past. This week we will be looking at quarter two. If you look at the orange clock you will see that three quarters of this clock has been colored in which means the minute hand has moved three quarters around the clock. And there's only one quarter 
for it to move before it is back on a clock. That means it will be a quarter to the hour. Now we know that if the long hand is on the nine, it is quarter to the hour. But what hour? You need to look. The hour hand will be on its way to an hour. It will be just before an hour because the hour is almost complete. So if we look at this example, you can see the hour hand is just before the number two. So it will be quarter to two because it's still on its way going to the two. You can use your whiteboard and some clay to practice them.